Now that I think about it, yeah, I think you have like a, a pretty big upper body. What do you do to exercise and to to work out? Yeah, man. I actually uh, so I work out every day. This is uh, right around the time I'd, I'd normally be be working out. So I'll probably work out a little bit uh, like right after this this uh, this podcast. But uh, I I have a split. Like I do I do legs Monday. I I have a big upper body, but my my pride and joy actually is my lower body. I feel like I have uh, actually bigger bigger legs than a lot a lot of people. And uh, mm -hmm. I'll hit legs Monday because it's the biggest muscle group. Usually mm -hmm. I like you know, heavy squats and deadlifts and whatnot, but I've had to do a lot more high volume because uh, obviously we're all stuck inside here uh, in, in the States right now. So I have like a home gym and yeah. like just some adjustable dumbbells, some like a pull-up bar, uh, some bands and uh, like a, like a, that kind of stuff. So I, I can do high volume, uh, high, high reps and a mm -hmm. lot of sets and I burn out my legs. And then I'll do like chest on Tuesday, a ton of push-ups, some presses, okay. some some exercise bands, crossovers, all that stuff. Back Wednesday, shoulders Thursday, arms Friday. So like that's my split. And then I'll do a two-a-day every day. Like a, a, in quarantine, I've been doing a two-a-day. So like normally I'd just go do some cardio or whatever. But I've been doing a lot of um, like DDP yoga and oh, yeah. Trying, yeah, trying to get some extra benefits and extra health make sure I keep my diet and everything in line. Like I've been going, I've been keeping my protein high, but going a little lower in carbs. Cause you know, just with like a less active day, even working out twice, I'm not going to mm -hmm. go out, out and be burning as many calories. So I don't need probably as much rice or potatoes or whatever. Yeah. Usually like when they're, we're not on lockdown, obviously on the weekends I'm wrestling during mm -hmm. the week, I'll wrestling and all that kind of stuff. So it's, I would say normally uh, a little bit different than it is right now, but you know, we're, we're in a, a, a different time where we got to modify everything. And I'm trying to keep, you know, I'm trying to keep myself in shape and hit the ground running whenever, whenever we're actually able to wrestle again, I want to be able to wrestle immediately. Like, I don't want to be one of those guys that I put on 30 pounds. Of yeah, fat. You, you want to be on top of your condition. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So the idea is hopefully to get at, obviously wrestling is a different entity than anything else in terms of, if you want to have good cardio for wrestling, you just have to wrestle. You have to have muscle memory and you have to have mm -hmm. done it a lot. That's not going to be the case when, whenever shows get back to running, obviously a lot of people are going to get really tired really quickly and that's fine. Yeah. But like the, you can kind of stay in your same shape, do a little bit of cardio here and there, use this time to get your joints fully healed so that you're, you know, you're ready to go when, when it's go time, uh, you can at least minimize kind of hitting the ground running and, and being able to, get right back into it yeah because i'm listening to a lot of podcasts actually as you can imagine and uh, yes. a lot of wrestlers seem to complain that they are either getting fat or losing mass during this period sure yeah because well i mean it's like it's both you have to be consistent with your workouts like i haven't missed a workout yet on quarantine and also it's a lot of diet stuff too like you got to really make sure it's hard in quarantine to keep your food at the level that it has to be in your protein, especially like mm -hmm. I weigh 225 pounds or so, which means I'm going to take in anywhere from 200 to 300 grams of protein in a day, which is quite a bit. And that can add up pretty expensive, you know, to be pretty expensive. So I oh, yeah. try to really like, I, I drink a lot of egg whites and shit like that and, and protein supplements. So I could try to, you know, uh, keep my protein intake fairly high without spending an arm and a leg. I keep my window pretty low as well. To st like uh, intermittent fasting, I don't know if that's uh, popular mm -hmm. over in Italy, but like I'm probably eating in an eight, a seven, eight hour window to really try to keep my body burning fat for as long as it can. And, you know, not uh, to limit my intake. And like I said, limit my carbs, like all this stuff. Like I, I don't know. I, I take myself very seriously as a pro wrestler. And I think if you're going to be a pro athlete, everything about you, you know, like you should, you should care about everything. And not everyone has to be like a body guy. Not everyone has to be in the same shape and whatever, but like the idea of looking at it from a scientific perspective and thinking I need to put this in to get this out. And I, you know, I have these goals long-term. I want to look like this. So that means I have to do X, Y, Z. Like I do think there should be like long-term planning into all this. 
so you don't have that many meals each day, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm eating a lot of food, but in a fairly short period of time, like mm -hmm. your body can only process so much protein every hour, but it's not going to proce process all of that as soon as you take it in. So like, especially if, let's say I have a, like a lean, lean-ish, but a little bit of fatty on it, steak, maybe some rice, mm -hmm. definitely some veggies as well. And then maybe a couple hours later, I'll have some egg whites with some peanut butter and maybe a salad or something like that. And then a few hours later, uh, maybe like a bigger, like fattier steak, but still pretty big. So there's lots of protein in it and another form of vegetable and maybe like a shake to top it off. I'm having barely any carbs or anything like that with that last meal. And then, you know, keeping it like that, those are all really high protein meals. And then yeah. one of them has some carbs. The other one has, has higher fat. And I just did that all within a few hours. Like that's, that's going to keep your body fed. But also like late at night, I'm not like craving because it's like I have plenty of fat. I'm satiated. I have plenty of protein. I'm satiated. And I'm not like, I'm just binging Netflix. You know what I mean? Like if I'm watching the Ozan <laughs> show, I don't need like a bunch of carbs in my system and I don't need a bunch of extra food. Like I've already gotten all my eating in and then I can watch my programs, go to sleep, wake up and do it all again. Yeah, I do just the Netflix part, to be honest. <laughs> See, you got that part down. You're, you're doing some of it. Thank you for listening. Remember to leave a comment, like, share, subscribe and spread the word. To make sure we keep our high standard content going, you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash lmwpodcast by becoming a 5 euro backer or above. You can find the last minute wrestling podcast all over the platforms like Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcast and more. We are also very social, so drop us a line to say hello on Twitter at lmwpodcast and on Facebook at facebook.com slash lmwpodcast. I have been Frank Mandolini, stay safe.